Hey YouTube, so apparently some of you all said your Rainbow Six was crashing and you still don't know why. Um, if you haven't already, uh, go to MSI's website and look for MSI Afterburner on Google. I put a link down in this, I'll put a link down in the description for it. And if you just scroll all the way down, you'll see MSI Afterburner right here. And just press on download. You'll also have to download Rivet Tuner, which will be part of this download process as well. It's going to be already included, but you have to download both of them. It's going to be in the same package. And so once you get that downloaded, you'll have to open this up and set it up. So in order to set it up, it's really not that hard. So let me get that out really quick. Okay. And once you set it up, and, and now we're looking at this, uh, press on the settings, the gears icon right here, the settings icon. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll over to user interface and you can change this to whatever you want. Personally, I do not like the uh, the skin that's given at first. This one at least shows more like like a gauge in a way. And then you can also do, let's see, like this if you, if you want to see all your graphs. But I'd rather just keep it something simple with the red. Too. Yeah, actually I'll do this one doesn't matter as long as you can see that your temperature gauge is right here and your clocking speeds are right here okay and once you get that set up on the user interface you want to scroll to the left on to oh, there it is monitoring and then you want to select everything that you want to see while you are playing this game so what I did was is I wanted to see my clocking speeds, my CPU 5, and my CP, all my CPU clockage. And I noticed that CPU 1 through 4 never gave me an issue. So I stopped clocking or stopped looking at those. And it was mostly 6 through 8 that was giving me issues. So I started to look at those. And you could also just give a general CPU clock right here. And if you, if you don't want all of these to show up while uh, you're playing a game. So you could also do that if you'd like. And let's turn all these off. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so we got CPU clock right here. This is the general CPU clock, and these are all CPU usages. So you have I have a GTX 1050, so it's going to have four C. Uh, where is it? Or Ryzen five, sorry. So it's going to have CPU one, CPU two, CPU two, three, all the way up to eight. So. Just make sure you keep that in mind that there's going to be a lot, if the higher end processors, you're going to see a lot more you know, while you're playing games. And let's see, what else do I have to do? Right, so re re general CPU clock, and I just want CPU usage. Do they have that? No. Okay, so you could do that as just do CPU clock and then make sure you see everything as well. Your CPU usage. That's the main thing you want to see is your usage. Clocking speed won't matter too much because it's mostly just going to be consistent throughout all of them. So just make sure you have your usage. Let's see. CP5. Yep. And there. Oh, there's all my wrists. Okay, cool. And then you also want to set up your GPU temperature while you're playing the game and your GPU usage. While your, your video usage as well, your VID usage, your memory usage, and... Last but not least, you also want to make sure you have your FPS, your frame rate, because that's what's going to give you some of the issues in Rainbow Six. So then you just press on Apply, go to OK, and then go to Rivet Tuner right here. Whoops. And then you want to turn on on-screen display support. You want to do vector, th uh, ra raster 3D. You, you want to do viewport, and make sure all of these are off right here. And you can adjust this to however big you want. I don't ever suggest going this big, if, especially for higher-end PCs. You're going to have a lot more cores, which will mean a lot more CPUs will be shown. So make it maybe about this size, right about here. And it will already apply it for you, so don't need to press on anything. And I X that out. It should still be right there. Minimize this one. Do not X it out. And then what you want to do is just open up Rainbow Six Siege, and you will s see it on the top left. All right, so as you, can, as you can see on the left right here, 
it shows my FPS, my D3, D11. So I'm running Direct DirectX 11, which is 60 FPS, and all my CPU percentage. And then I have my CPU uh, clockage right here, and it should be consistent for all of them. So I'm not, I'm not going to give all my CPUs my I, I don't want to know all my CPU clockage. So I just rather get the general one, and then let's go to the actual game itself. And I'll show you what you should be looking out for while you're playing this game. So first thing you should definitely look for is your GPU usage. It should be, since I have a 1050, it's going to be almost high up around there. It's going to fluctuate a lot. And let's go to, yeah, we'll just do a terrace hunt. Okay. And once you start this game, make sure you look right about here and see what happens with all of your CPU cores. If it don't worry about GPU the first time, just look over here for your CPU. Because Rainbow Six FPS mainly depends on your CPU cores. So if it goes to if all of them go to hundred percent and if your if your frame rate was limited at sixty, then please post in the comments. I will try to see if there's another fix for that. I'm gonna try simulating the crash again later on. So I'll just Cavera. Then we'll go from there because right now I put a frame rate limiter at 60 uh, FPS to make sure that my CPUs doesn't go anywhere near 90% or even close to 90% because I'd rather. Uh, so when I'm shooting, if that's what's giving you the crashing, check your CPU, check your GPU levels right here, make sure that they're still around this much. What I suggest, if you're really testing out this, you should always go to graphics, turn everything down to low. Keep the and if your GPU is still around that level, that means you know it's not gonna, it's not your GPU problem. Because if it second it goes to 100 and then it crashes, you know it's your GPU problem. If it goes to, if it's 63% on your CPUs, then that's the then it's going to be a GPU problem. But if it's 100% on CPU, and it's, what, 60% on GPU, then there shouldn't be any issue. So that's going to be it on the MSI Afterburner. Please post it in the comments um, if which one is giving you the 100%. That way I can help you on, if it's your GPU, if it's 100%, I'll, I'll, deal with, I'll help you with that personally on another video. But for now, if it's CPU, make sure you just put a frame limiter. And that's all I got for you today. Please subscribe and like the video if it, if this helped you. And uh, make sure to check out the other video now that you know how to get MSI Afterburner.